lives of Rosgoth, pristine, whole, and uncorrupted. I had never beheld him in this undefiled state, yet something profound and indelible resonated within me at the sight. And there, waiting at the very heart of the pillars, was the canker that was destined to destroy them. I know you're there, Arathia. Maybe it's led me to a okay. cave. I might have guessed you met me here. And if Mobius told you I was hidden on the underside of hell, would you throw yourself into oblivion to pursue me? Mobius trolls for the ignorant and unwary, hauling his gasping prey from the strings of their destinies. Stay out of his net, Terazia. Spare me your elaborate metaphors, King. I have pursued you here for one purpose. You will pay for your betrayal, and balance will thus be restored to Nosgoth. And whose will is satisfied there? The will of Raziel or Mobius? Would I be better manipulated by you, Cain? Now, turn and face me. The chase is over. This isn't a chase, Raziel. We are merely passengers on the wheel of destiny. Describing a perfect circle to this point. We've been brought here for a reason. I've seen the beginning and the end of our story, however, and the tale is crude and ill-conceived. We must rewrite the ending, Mummy. You and I. Face me, Cain. Even you shouldn't die a coward's death. Isn't it customary to grant the condemned a final request? I recall no such courtesy from you. Indulge me, Raziel. All I ask is that you listen. This is the sublime moment of our undoing, Raziel. The ineffable fulcrum upon which swings the entirety of our history. This is where all of Nosgoth is betrayed. In this instant, Aria, the balance guardian, is murdered by dark forces bent on overthrowing the pillars. Her spirit is just now tearing free lost in the ether, trying to find its way here. We have already seen that she comes to hold these pillars. Bound here by your refusal to die, you are the reason this land becomes diseased. As long as you remain alive, you condemn Nosgoth to an eternity of decay. Be still, Raziel. See this. As Ariel dies, I am being born to take her place as balance guardian. Such is my Sacrifice myself and thus restore the pillars. With the 
last surviving vampire in Norsegård. This would mean the annihilation of our species. No use. Make sure of that. If the coin lands on the reverse, I refuse the sacrifice and thus doom the pillars to an eternity of collapse. Either way, the game is great. We agree then that the pillars are crucial and must be restored. Yes, Raziel. And that's why we've come full circle to this place. So after all this, you make my case for me. To end this stalemate, you must die so that no guardians can be born. Pillars don't belong to them, Raziel. They belong to us. Your arrogance is boundless, King. <laughs> There's a third option. A monumental secret hidden in your very presence here. But it's a secret you have to discover for yourself. Unearth your destiny, Raziel. It's all laid out for you here. You said it yourself, King. There are only two sides to your coin. Apparently, sir. But suppose you throw a coin enough times. Suppose one day. It lands on its edge. I do not know what impulse stayed my hand, why I had so willingly allowed Cain to escape me when I had pursued him for so long. I had no reason to trust Cain after he had valued me so little.